Hello YouTubers, this is Davey from Wolf Crown Arts and today I'll be showing you how to make your little picture as you can see right here my art with the crown on it into a PNG image. Now a PNG image is an image that can be transparent in the background you can put it basically on anything. So let's get started. So just let's just you say to yourself I am totally content with my art now I want to make it into a PNG image I want to put it into Photoshop. Well, well, questioner, I'm going to tell you how to do that. So let's go into it. First, let's just see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty cool. I can't really see the stem, but that doesn't matter. You'll be able to see in the PNG. Let's go into this, this board image, and it'll bring up render settings. So go down to output. Okay, depending on what size computer you have, you can do it whatever you want, but I have a pretty good Mac, so I'm going to do 1080 by 720. If, you really, if you're really feeling lucky, you can do 1200 by 1080, but that's really, really big. This is a just fine enough size to put into a YouTube background, whatever. So let's continue. Okay, so now you want to go into File under the save tab okay so see this file this file button right here click the dot 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 and that will bring up to where you want to save it now I already have a preset images so C4D images I'll call it green art tutorial alright so now I'm content with that now go down to format it, right now it's TIF at, TIFF, but that's that's all right. Okay, we'll go down to PNG. You want PNG? That is the transparent background. I've said it probably like five or six times now. Format PNG and make sure you check Alpha Channel. If you do not check Alpha Channel, then this will not be a transparent background. It'll just be a black background. So check Alpha Channel just like that. Okay. Now just make sure you have the size you want and output. Okay, that's beautiful. Now I'm just going to X out of render settings. I'm just going to save this one more time. Just name it tutorial, whatever. And now that you're fully content, click go up and click this orange with a movie board. This orange rectangle with the movie board on it. And now, look at that, it already rendered. That is my picture, it already rendered. Now, let's say I don't want that arrow to be cut off up there. So, I'm just going to go back out, X out of this, I'm going to change my camera angle to that. And whatever your camera angle is, is what it renders to. So, I'm going to go back up here, click the movie board with the orange square on it, and it's already rendered. So if you're going to do it over again like I did, you'll get the Cinema 4D. Do you really want to overwrite your file? Well, yes I do because the arrow was cut off. So here we go. It re-rendered and I am totally content with that. So let's go and look at this photo in Photoshop. Alright, so this is my YouTube background that I have, YouTube template. Um, I can put the link to it in the description. And... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Open, go to your folder that your little template is in. Mine C4D Images. Go down to whatever your art name is. Open it. Oh, and look at this. Magical. Here it is. Nice green and it's, it's transparent in the background. So what you want to do is just drag it up here drag it in and just edit it however you want. Well that is the tutorial on how to make a, a Cinema 4D image into PNG and put it into Photoshop. My name is Davey and please subscribe.